Y'all be. This week we cracking open one of my favorite books of all time, The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Fyodor Karamazov, the shadiest cat you ever known. Fool don't give a shit about his three kids, Dmitri, Ivan, and Alyosha. All he care about is stacking change, sipping drink, and f***ing bitches all day, every day. So some other hustlers gotta snatch them kids up to raise them right. Years later, the brothers all grown up, and Dimitri steps up to daddy demanding his cash money inheritance. But Fyodor does his son straight dirty and keeps all that cheddar to himself. So Ivan and Alyosha drop in and try to settle this mess. These days, Ivan got repped for being wicked smart, and Alyosha all churched up. Alyosha was ready to do some holy rolling 24-7 up in that monastery, but his teach father Zosima tell him he gotta go spread that love to the world instead. And speaking of spreading love, not only do Dimitri and Fyodor got beef cause of them grands, but they both got it bad for some hoe named Grushinka. Ugh, what kind of name is that? Later, Alyosha drops in at Fyodor's spot where he peeps game in his daddy's servant Smerdyakov. Word on the street is that this fool be the result of Fyodor getting shwasted one night and not wrapping it up. And ain't nothing this scrub like more than hearing Yvonne talk about how if they ain't no god, then a player can't do no wrong. Later, Alyosha and Yvonne chillin' when Yvonne be all like, how can it be a guy with all this suffering, yo? Then he drops a sick poem on Alyosha's ass called The Grand Inquisitor. Thinking Grushinka about to shack up with his pops, Dimitri swings over there to whoop some ass. After popping Fyodor's boy Grigori in his grill, he steps up to his pops, ready to bang out. Later, the fuzz bust in and accuse Dimitri of icing Fyodor. Dimitri say he didn't do nothing, but the law don't believe a word he say and tosses his ass behind bars. When Ivan starts conversating with Smerdyakov about the murder, Smerdyakov say, actually, I killed him, bruh. You said yourself that if there ain't no God, then anything goes, right? After that, Ivan tweaking so hard that he gets a visit from some clean-cut hustler who he thinking is the devil. Damn, whatever he's on, I want some of that. At Dimitri's trial, Yvonne still can't keep his shit together and completely loses his mind. Then the jury convicts Dimitri and his ass gets sent to Siberia. After all that depressing mess is going down, Alyosha tells some youngers that even though bad shit happens, you just gotta remember the good. Know what I mean? Now unless you slow on the head, you know that this book's title talking about Fyodor's four kids. Dimitri, Yvonne, Alyosha, and Smerdyakov. And even though each of these hustlers got their own flavor, truth is, they all Karamazovs through and through. And when you rolling Karamazov deep, you got a lust for life that's straight off the chain. See, like his daddy, Dimitri all about them earthly pleasures, which is why he always blowing cash fast, tossing back Henny, and throwing down with peeps for no good reason. Living it up big looks a little different for Yvonne, though. That boy got such a hard on for finding meaning that he drives himself batshit crazy. Yvonne always be asking, if there's so much twisted shit going on in the world, how can there be a God? And even if there is one, I don't want to have nothing to do with this bent ass world. And I advise you never to think about it either, my dear Alyosha, especially about God, whether he exists or not. All such questions are utterly inappropriate for a mind with an idea of only three dimensions. Yet, would you believe it? In the final result, I don't accept this world of gods. And although I know it exists, I don't accept it at all. It's not that I don't accept God. You must understand, it's the world created by him I don't and cannot accept. But like Dmitri say, a Karamazov is either an angel or an insect. And as the heart and soul of the novel, Alyosha gonna keep it trill and fight the good fight even in the face of the gnarliest suffering. Like his street daddy father Zosima saying, we're all in this together, B. You can't be looking at the world like it's an empty, meaningless place. Cause the only way we're gonna make it better is by getting each other's backs. And the best way to look out for your fellow homie is by preserving the good in yourself. Cause as Alyosha and Father Z preaching, it only takes one true blue player to plant the seed of good up in this world. Believe to the end. Even if all men went astray and you were left the only one faithful. And if two of you are gathering together, then there is a whole world, a world of living love.
So plant that seed of good by hitting that subscribe button and checking out the Thug Note store. And be sure to check back next week for my special episode on the Grand Inquisitor. Peace, y'all.